Well, CBS 2's David Lopez is live downtown with how the LAPD is gearing up for possible protests tomorrow. Dave. Well, behind me, the headquarters of the LAPD looks awfully quiet right now and very calm, and they hope it stays that way, although they know tomorrow uh, there is supposed to be a number of protests. Five people have, or five different organizations have taken out permits to uh, march in the streets. But of course, the, the big unknown is will it go on and will there be big numbers if the anticipated rain falls as heavily as expected? One thing is for certain this is not your everyday grandfather type normal inauguration situation. Today in downtown Los Angeles, it was the calm before the next anticipated storm. And this one has nothing to do with the weather. Did he really get elected? Or is it a joke? <laughs> Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., high noon in Washington, Donald Trump becomes our nation's 45th president. Holy cow, I can't believe it's actually come to fruition. Uh, not good. I'm not happy. I'm scared. And. Is it enough to protest? Yes, it is. And in Los Angeles, the protests have already started. This, land was made this at a teachers' union rally, protesting the fact that Donald Trump is the president tomorrow. Can't change it. Right after he was elected, protesters for five days stormed the streets of Los Angeles. There were nearly 100 arrests. Five protests are scheduled for tomorrow in downtown, including a massive one in front of Staples Center, where the Lakers play Indiana tomorrow night. This department is not unfamiliar with large demonstrations here in the city. There will be a very visible police presence throughout the city tomorrow, and three things, according to the LAPD, will not be tolerated. Vandalism, blocking intersections for a long period of time, and marching onto the freeways. All that happened last November. He needs to know that people are on his behind. The polls have already sent that message to Mr. Trump. No incoming president in our nation's history has ever had lower approval ratings than Trump, just over 30 percent. And yet we found people today who said, let's not rush to judgment. Looking forward to it. It'd be different. Give him a shot. It's new. I'm tired of all the disrespect. I want to get back to loving each other. And he is who he is. We all know what he is. Don't go out and protest. It's not going to change things. What's his uh, grace period? He got, let's see, give him 90 days. <laughs> That's more than some people want to give him. So again, the LAPD is ready. They uh, are not giving away exactly where they're going to be or what they're going to be, other than to say there will be a very large police presence. But again, the great equalizer in all of this will be the weather. Do you go out and protest in large numbers if it's pouring rain? And then, of course, there's another protest planned on Saturday. Back to the studio.